going on guys um, so uh, I'm going to review my first refinishing uh, guitar project uh, I'm gonna put a picture up on the screen it's going to be the only picture that I have of this guitar before I refinished it uh, I will put another picture kinda toward the end of the process um, this guitar was a Memphis Les Paul copy. Uh, I think it was a Les Paul 100, it said on the sticker. I bought it at a, at a pawn shop for $100. It um, was not in the greatest shape. Pickups were crap. Um, the electronics, the, the wiring harness, still pretty good though. Still has the original wiring harness. The bridge, the uh, tailpiece. The tuners, uh, everything, all original. Um, the thing is, is I wanted a cool Zach Wild style guitar, and I was like, dude, what about the Rebel? This is a cheap POS freaking bolt-on neck Les Paul copy, and I'm just gonna tear this thing up. So that's what I did. Uh, this is what it looks like now. Um, as you can see, uh, what I did was I painted over the, well, I took away a lot of the, uh, a lot of the original finish on it. Um, I took a couple of spray cans, obviously red, white, and blue, and I did the red first, and then the blue, and then the white which, by the way, is hard as hell to do. Uh, finish is not, not very smooth at all, but, you know, this is supposed to look like a beater, right? So, um, once I did that, and I'll tell you what, I did it the old school way where you take a piece of cardstock, like a, a big, uh, huge piece of cardstock, and cut out the designs that you want, and then you put them over this thing and then you, you paint it. Oh my God, dude. Um, I think it took like four days for me to paint this thing. Um, I mean, obviously I slept in between and had to go to work and stuff like that. But, and as you can see, I replaced the strap pins with eye bolts. Um, once this thing, and I mean, it was a straight up look like a Confederate flag guitar. Um, I took my rotary tool and I got rid of a bunch of stuff. I didn't set it on fire and beat it up like the original one. And as you can tell, I don't have all the bottle caps hammered into this thing yet, but it'll happen. Someday I'll start drinking beer and, you know, or make friends with a bartender and be like, hey dude, just kick me all them bottle caps. But anywho, um, uh, like I said, original stuff, I replaced pickups with the, uh, the uh, cheap blackout pickups, blackout humbuckers that they sell on Amazon uh, for like 15 bucks or something like that. Um, they sound pretty good. They do actually sound a little like EMG passives. Um, but uh, let me show you what I did to the headstock. Uh, this thing did not have, I mean, this is, it's got a bit of a binding on it, but I took white paint and really hooked it up. I did put the little bookend on it. Not a very good job, but yeah, obviously no logo on it. But the thing actually sounds pretty good. Um, let's see here. Put it on the Again, using my Marshall MG15 Micro. Not here to show off my skills because I don't have any, but this is uh, this is this thing on a clean setting. Thank <laughs> you. 
this down just a little bit so I don't fry you guys. <laughs> Clean setting, I'm going to throw on some distortion. Actually not too bad, right? It does whine a little bit, it does whine a little bit because not 100% sure if I grounded it right, but uh, I did the best I could. Hey, this is the first time I ever did anything like this, so I think it turned out alright. I don't know, could be wrong. What do you guys think? Um, I'm working on my SG project at this point. Um, took all the uh, finish off of it. I will tell you it is made of plywood. So it's going to be interesting because I'm staining this bad, Larry. Yeah, staining it. Why would you stain a plywood guitar? Why the hell not? Let's see what happens. It's all trial and error. Anyway, thanks guys. Rock on.